Belief in predestination or divine decree is one of Islam's tenets of faith. But what does Judaism think about destiny? Let's look at the story of Joseph in the book of Genesis. When Joseph, now an advisor to the king of Egypt, reconciles with his brothers, he asks them not to fear his retribution and explains, You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good, to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. In other words, the brothers may have thought they were in control of their thoughts and actions, but in fact it was God who was manipulating them from behind the scenes. Or, as the popular Yiddish saying goes, man plans and God laughs. But another verse in the Torah seems to send a different message. As the children of Israel prepare to enter the promised land, God tells them, I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses, Now choose life, so that you and your children may live. This verse seems to indicate we have full control over the choices we make in life. So, which is it? Free choice or predestination? These two seemingly contradictory trends also appear in the Talmud. In Tractate Sanhedrin, Rav says, Forty days before an embryo is formed, a divine voice calls out and says, the daughter and -and so-and-so is destined to marry so-and-so. So, if God decides whom we will marry before we're even born, how do we explain this statement in the Mishnah by Rav Hanina? Everything is in the hands of God except for fear of God. One way Jewish thinkers solved this conundrum was to distinguish between God's knowledge of the future and God's determining the future. Rabbi Moses Maimonides explained this saying in his commentary on the Mishnah. Do not think that God's knowledge of all things dictates their occurrence, meaning that one is forced to do any action. This is not so, for man has free will to do as he pleases. Two and a half centuries before Maimonides, Rabbi Saadia Gaon adopted the position of the Mu'tazila, an Islamic intellectual school of thought, and determined that predestination contradicts the principle of divine justice. After all, how can a just God punish someone for committing a sin which God himself decreed? If man is truly the most perfect creature, argued the 18th century Italian rabbi Moshe Chaim Luzzato, he must have free choice. God therefore created him with a good inclination and an evil inclination, and gave him the ability to choose between the two. There is so much more to say about this matter, but our time is running short. The bottom line is this. While mainstream Islam emphasizes divine predestination and man's submission to God's decree, mainstream Judaism emphasizes free choice and man's ability to alter his destiny at any moment of his life. If you enjoyed this video, please follow my channel and press the like button on the video.